Hi there, I'd like to quickly run you guys through how to install a, an Evola Supremacy on a MacBook Pro. Um, getting the driver and setting up the printer. Okay, so here we go. First of all, you want to go into your web browser and you want to go to evolus.com like that. Then you want to go to drivers and support. You want to go down to your printer. You can actually install any printer from here, but, uh, but in this case, we are actually installing a Primacy. Um, you can see here's the Windows driver and here is the Mac driver. So let's download this little guy. And I'm going to say show in Finder. And there it is. So I'm going to drag this out to my desktop. I'm just going to hide this for a sec. Let me close this. And, um, and here we go. So I'll double click that. I'll extract this little directory. It'll give you a package file. I'll double click that. It says this is not a package that can be opened from an unidentified developer. So what you have to do is you have to press control click and then open. Again, on your computer, it's not command. It's uh, control. So control, uh, open, and then it'll say it'll have the OK sign. OK, so let's go through this introduction. This is a readme. Cool standard introduction you just go through it very normal and very standard type in your password and there we go the installation was successful close I think it may have gone that quickly because I already have it installed so now you can delete these if you want or you can store them somewhere in your computer I recommend deleting them because you can just download the driver again it's very small and it'll be the updated version on the website all the time as opposed to keeping reinstalling it from the same uh, download um, and now let's add the printer so what you want to do is you want to go and open up your printers um, properties uh, under your computer and the way you get there is you can actually just go to system preferences and you go to printers and scanners I've got a few added here already, so let me just remove this uh, primacy here. So as you can see, I've got a few printers set up on my computer, um, but I've just installed a driver for the primacy, so how do I get the primacy here? What you have to do is you have to go add a printer, and at the moment I do not have the printer connected, so let me just do that quickly. Plugging in the USB cable right now. to the printer. I'm just making sure it's not in standby mode. And there we go. It's quite quick. It just shows up. So it finds the printer on your computer and you can call this printer whatever you want. For our purposes I'm going to say um, I'm going to call it installation installation demo. Um, and then you have to go and choose a, so a driver quickly. So I've just clicked on uh, select a software and I will type in here Primacy and you can see it's bringing up an Evolus Primacy. If it was any other printer like the Xenius, you can see the Xenius um, driver is there, but in our case it's the Primacy. Okay, and that is all you need. There we go, you've got your printer set up. You can open up your print queue and see what's printing to the printer. You can uh, check out the options um, of the printer. You can open up the printer utility and send commands to the printer. Um, for instance, if you sent the command send technical test card and you pressed execute, execute it, would, it would send in a technical test card and the printer would print it. So, um, so there we go. Uh, let's just quickly have a look at something like printing to the printer. I open up um, just a normal photo. Let's just go over here and say this picture. That's fine, I guess. It's very low res, but it's fine. You can go to, I've just opened up a picture now, file, print. And I could say, and I could pick the Evolus Primacy. 
and I could say the paper size is card. You can see it fits it quite nicely if you say scale to fit for the entire paper. And um, and you have various presets you can do if you've created presets. I've created um, one where I say black panel ribbon if I'm only using a black panel ribbon or if I'm using a black panel used line mode. At the moment you can see and change your settings here. It's that preview printer features and you can go and change the printer settings here. For instance, under general, you can go and set the printer type. It assumes you're using a full color YMCCO ribbon, like uh, it's the most popular ribbon, but sometimes you might be using these other ribbons, and then in that case, you'd have to go and actually set the ribbon. Um, also, in uh, options black panel, you can see the black panel is currently not being used so it's ignoring the black panel and it's in gray so what I've done is I've set up a black panel used line mode uh, preset so that whenever I print to a card printer I've got my black panel used and line mode um, settings and um, and then I just go paper size card scale to fit I fill entire paper and then I can click on print now and it would print to the printer um, unfortunately I don't have a ribbon in right now or cards in but but this this is how you would install it uh, a primacy or any card printer for that matter on a Mac before I actually close it off I might want to just show you in a program like card presso if you open up your card presso this is how you would um, connect your printer to Card Presso, for instance. Now that it's been installed and it's ready, um, you can open up Card Presso. I don't have a USB license installed right now. So let's just create a blank card quickly. And then just go to File, Print Settings. And then we can select the Primacy as the card printer and um, and that's it so at the time of printing it'll know to print to your printer number of cards print front okay and it sends the commands to the printer and you're done